Hello, all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Um, I am filming next part of my Conmari declutter. These are brushes and uh, some tools, other like tweezers and stuff. So, um, yeah, I don't really know. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say. Um, I have a lot of brushes. Um, I've always known that I've had a lot of brushes. I like having a lot of brushes. Um, but now that I see them like this, I'm like, wow, that's maybe more than I need. But I don't know. Um, I actually did do a brush declutter. It was either late last year or earlier this year. So for the most part, I like what's in here. Um, I suppose a little background with my brushes. I like... Face brushes that I use to apply cream products like foundation, um, I only use them once or twice before I wash them. And I only wash my brushes once a month. So often I'll use a brush, spot clean it, use it one more time, and then it goes into a drawer until it's brush washing day. So yeah, I accumulate a lot of brushes. I tend to buy the types of brushes that I really like to try out new brands, blah, blah, blah. Um, and typically I actually do use, I use about 90% of these brushes in a month and then I have to wash them all. So I don't know if this will be a large declutter or if it will, you know, I'll only get rid of a few things, but we're going to go through it. I'm actually going to break them down into categories so I can see what I've got and um, hopefully that will help me to assess what I want to keep and if there's anything there that I'm not in love with. So we're going to zoom in and take a look. All right, I'm going to start with like sponges and puffs and things like that. So uh, I'll get rid of these for now. These are um, Real Technique uh, complexion sponges, I think they're called. And these are um, Beauty Blender, Beauty Blenders. Um, so I think I'm going to keep all of these. I will say my preferences are the Black Beauty Blenders and the Real, Com uh, Real Techniques Complexion Sponges. These are ones that I would repurchase in the future. Um, these ones here, the little under eye concealer ones and the pink ones, they're not, not really um, my preferences. The difference with the black and the pink, the black is actually more of, um, they call it the Pro Blender, um, and it's meant to give a more fuller coverage, and it does a little bit. Um, I prefer the black ones. Uh, I don't mind the pink, and like I'll use it, but you can see how much they change, right? And this sponge, I bought all of these. Was it? Yeah. I bought all of these. I think I'm missing a black one, actually. It's going to be here somewhere. Anyway, I bought all of these um, at the end of last year, these dudes. They came in packs. Um, and you can see, like, how much these sort of just shit themselves. And I've actually only used this a handful of times. So, um, I don't know. They look, they look pretty shitty, don't they? Um, these two are damp because I washed them today, but I'm going to keep them. Um, these ones in particular, I would not repurchase in the future though. Alright, let's talk sponges. So, I I don't want to get rid of these. They are actually out of little brushes, uh, sorry, blushes. Um, they're so cute, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to get rid of them. This is a little Bare Minerals um, powder puff came out of um, a little like powder mini I'm gonna get rid of that because I'm not gonna use it and this one oh, I do like this but I'm not gonna use it um, it's like a double-sided makeup sponge um, one side is it's almost like velvet and the other side is a typical sponge I'm gonna get rid of those um, I'm going to keep my Illamasqua and Color World Puffs because these are good for when you want to do detailed stuff around the face and you need to rest your hand on the face but you don't want to 
disrupt the base. So um, <laughs> that'll grind. Uh, so I'm going to keep these two and get rid of this lot. And I found that other sponge I was missing, so keeping that. Okay, so I figured I would just go through these as I apply my makeup. Um, so I'm starting with base brushes, stuff I use to apply foundation in some form. Um, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of any of them. Um, but we're just gonna we're gonna go with it. I, there's a good chance I won't get rid of any of these. Um, I pull out this one. This is the Illamasqua. It's a fluffy angled brush. Um, I use this for applying foundation. It's gorgeous, especially if you've got a more dewy foundation. I love it. Definitely keeping it. I will be keeping the Real Techniques Bold Metal 101 brush. I actually do not like this brush. I don't like it at all. But I have the collection. They cost me a lot of money and I can use this to apply foundation um, before I use like a, one of these, the beauty blenders to buff it out. So I will be keeping it um, and simply because I'm like I'm not willing to just get rid of it. I paid a lot of money for it. I'm keeping it. Um, Alright, foundation brushes like these. So, I don't like to use these to actually apply foundation in a traditional manner. I use these to sort of spread foundation around my face and then I blend it out with a beauty blender. And I typically do this when I'm mixing foundations. Um, I am going to keep these four, definitely. This one is the Tapered Foundation Brush. I just, I've got to say this. Now, if you absolutely love um, Real Techniques brushes, you love the Pixie Woo Sisters, that's okay. Like, don't be mad at me. But I actually find that a lot of their brushes are not good. And not good quality wise not good in functionality wise so I'm going to get rid of this I've never even used this it came in a pack that I purchased um, but I just yeah I don't think this is a good brush it's just I don't try and reinvent the wheel it doesn't make sense so I'm getting rid of that um, okay here we have some real technique brushes that are good these are, what are you, expert face brushes and buffing brush. Um, I like these. I like these for applying foundation. I'm going to keep them. This is the stippling brush from Real Techniques. Um, it's wet because I just washed it. Some of these brushes are like fresh out of the wash. So if they look a bit funny, that's because they're wet. Um, I don't know. I really haven't used this enough. Oh, you know what, I'm going to get rid of it because the only reason I would use it is to apply foundation and I don't like stippling brushes. And I've just spotted this stippling brush. This is a Models Prefer stippling brush. Um, I'm going to get rid of that as well because I don't like them. I don't, I don't know why stippling brushes were ever a thing. Um, I've never liked them. I've never liked the results. I just maybe I just don't get I don't get it. I don't know. Anyway, I'll get rid of those two. Um, what have we got here? These ones. These are seriously. These are like El Cheapos off eBay, um, and I absolutely fucking love them. These are synthetic brushes, and they're densely packed. They're even softer than the Real Technique, bleh, Real Techniques ones. Um, they are brilliant for applying foundation. I've got a flat top and I've got an angled and a domed. So I'm going to keep them all. I love them. Uh, this is a Bow Professional Contour Blending. I actually want to play with this and um, try it for a different, a few different more. God, words. A few more different products. I haven't had a chance to play with it too much. Um, so I'd like to give this one a go. It's still wet because I just washed it today. So I'll hold on to that. This one is a Natio uh, brush that came with their contour and highlight set that they released this year. Um, 
I would like to play with this one some more as well. Alright, these are concealing brushes. So, I honestly don't think I need to get rid of any of these. Um, brushes like these, I only use, I use them once. So, I will use a brush to apply concealer, I will use something else to blend it out, often my finger or a beauty blender, and then it goes in a drawer to be washed. Um, often I am digging through that drawer to find concealer brushes to wash because I go through them so quickly. Um, so I'm not going to get rid of any of them because they all work quite well. These three, um, these like round ones which you in theory are supposed to be able to apply concealer and then buff it out. Um, personally I don't really like these for the buffing part of it. Um, I think you need something else to like actually blend it into the skin. Uh, but these are good for applying many 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 thin layers to build up the concealer for like extra coverage. So I'm going to hold on to them. It's, it's a technique I use not too often but I would, you know, if I got rid of them I'd be at the shop to buying one in a week so I'm going to hold on to all of them. Alright, next up I have eyeshadow shading brushes. Um, I don't know, I think for the most part I will keep all of these. Um, let me just pull some out that I know I really like. These are all quite good. Um, if you're wondering about brands here, these these ones with the um, like the yellow wood um, handles, these are just cheapo eBay ones, and they're really nice. They're um, uh, to be honest, I think these might be natural hair. They feel like natural hair. Um, very nice quality. You know, you can get really good brushes off eBay. It can be hit and miss, obviously. Um, for me, personally, I find it is just luck of the draw when you buy off eBay. But you can get good ones off eBay. So, um, what have I got here? I've got some uh, Glam Glitter. Glam and Glitter. These ones here, um, I'm quite sure these are natural hair as well. These are very similar like these, I wouldn't be surprised, like if someone came to me and said, hey, they were made in the same factory, would not be surprised. Very nice brushes. Um, I've got some Etika brushes here, these are nice, and I've got a crown brush, and this is a manicure brush. Um, manicure brushes are, are really quite nice, so if you've ever wondered, there you go. Um, Alright, let's, let's do some more. Uh, these ones that are in these, they're... Um, they've been washed today so these are shadow shields they uh, sorry what am I talking about brush shields um, they help to hold the hairs of brushes in place while they dry so they're great um, anyway back to the point um, okay so I'll pull these two out these are real techniques bold metals brushes I do not like these 200 brushes they're too big um, I can use them for certain things, mostly if I'm like laying down a base all over my eye, that's fine. Um, but for the most part, they're not my favourite brushes, but I am keeping them because expensive. Uh, these ones, these actually came out of a Look Fantastic box. They're just called Look Good, Feel Better Eye Shading Brushes. They're quite nice synthetics. Keep them. Um, I will keep my Zoeva brushes because I just recently got them um, and they're, you know, they're good, they're good brushes. Uh, Alright, let's see. These ones from Real Techniques, I really like these. These are the base shadow brushes. You can use these for laying down product or you can use them for blending. Um, we'll definitely keep them. Uh, Alright, we've got some more real techniques, so let's pull these out and assess them. 
I've got a pointed liner brush. I would never use this for liner. It is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, this is an accent brush and this is a smudge brush. So I'm going to keep all of them. I actually like these for inner corner work or smudging under the eye. So I will hold on to them. Some more that I like for inner corner work or very detailed concealer work or even sometimes lip work are these three. Um, so again, cheapo off eBay. Uh, this is a Mimi box brush. It came in a Mimi box in a little set. And this is... I'm going to go ahead and say that this is a crown brush that has not been marked because I would not know where else I would get this and this looks similar to some other crown brushes I have so yeah keep them um, and you know what I think I'm going to keep these as well so these are shader brushes I go through so many of these a week so I'm just going to end up buying more there's another one these are smaller shaders um, you know detailed inner corner work um, that one is a crown brush. Do like crown brushes? They're not not bad for their price. Um, and this is like a no named one. It's a chisel tapered fluff. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, not getting rid of any eyeshadow brushes, but that's okay. That's all right. I had a clean out not long ago. So okay, here I have bullet brushes, pencil brushes, detail pointed brushes, whatever you want to call them. Whatever. It's it's all the same thing. Um, so these are by a brand called Picture Perfect. Um, I got these online from like a lady who sold her own indie makeup. Um, she had these as like a resale kind of thing. Um, I like these. These are nice brushes. These are up there with some of my oldest brushes. They've held up beautifully. I am going to keep both of them. Uh, Alright, let's see. Okay, Zoeva. I'm going to keep the Zoeva brush. Not my favourite, but I'm going to keep it. It's functional. Um, let me, let me see, let me see. Alright, Bedellium Tools. Definitely keeping that. Fantastic brush. I'd really like to get some more Bedellium Tools. Um, and Real Techniques. Again, I, I do not understand this. Why is it so big? Let me just compare it to one that is like a really good size and then you've got that. Like really? Anyway, I'm going to keep it because it's very expensive. Um, I might take some pretty pictures with it one day. Uh, Alright, so these are all crown brushes if I remember correctly. Um, that is so scratchy. Okay, so I'm going to keep the synthetic one, and I don't know what I'm doing with these. Alright, so this one is badger hair. I'm going to hang on to the badger hair. This one is synthetic. I'm going to get rid of it. It's very scratchy. I'm not into it, so that can go. Alright, let's take a look at my favorite kind of brushes, uh, blending brushes. So, I think I can see this one. I'm going to get rid of this. This is a Elizabeth Arden, no, Estee, yes, Estee Lauder. came in like a uh, Christmas gift thingy. Um, it was basically, it was kind of like this um, Zoeva one, kind of like a, a weird triangular with a flat top, um, and I hated it, so I trimmed it. And I liked it more after I trimmed it, but I think I can let this go now. It's it's time to say thank you and goodbye. Um, Alright, I'm going to pull out these Zoeva brushes because I know I'm not going to get rid of them. Um, I like these Zoeva blending brushes. This one is... I, I don't understand the shape. Um, but I'm going to hold on to it anyway. That's all good. Um, so we'll keep... Alright, I'll pull out these two. These are brilliant brushes. These are Ray Morris brushes. I've got a detail point shader and a medium point shader. 
I love these. This one has fluff stuck on it. Um, I really, really adore these brushes. They're so soft. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm looking forward to buying more next time I can get a trade discount. Um, especially this one, the Detail Point Shader. So it's a very small blending brush. Really love it. Fantastic. This one here is a crown brush. This is from their Badger series. Now, I tried to get more of these at Salon Melbourne this year. No go. They do, however, or they did, have these in stock. So these are the Badger Blending Crease. Now, in theory, they're supposed to be the same, but I don't feel like they are. I feel like this one is like just a little bit above these two. I do like these two here, uh, but they're not, not quite as good as this one. And I don't know if that's like a psychological thing for me, but yeah, I'm going to keep them all. But this is always the one I go for first. And once it's dirty, I get a little bit sad. Alright, what do we got here? Um, this is a Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush. I'm going to keep that. It's quite a good brush. I've got a MAC 224 here. Um, I like this brush. But it's not one of my favourite blending brushes, to be honest. And I have, <clears throat> I have two crown brushes. Um, this one is a deluxe crease. I'm definitely going to keep that. That's a really good firm shade, uh, firm blending brush. And this one is also a crown brush, unmarked. Um, it feels quite good actually. I'm going to hold on to that one. That's not too bad. Alright, next up are uh, liner brushes. I've got angled liners here. Um, or Actually, I shouldn't say angled liners. I should say angled brushes in general. Plus, I have one flat top brush in there. Over here, I have um, thin liners. So, I'll start with these because this is easy. Uh, I have a Zoeva here, which I will be holding on to. This Bedellium Tools um, thin liner, definitely keeping that. Um, this is a Ray Morris Precision Bent Liner. I'm going to hold on to that as well. These two are both real techniques, and to be honest, I actually don't mind these. Um, they are fine liner brushes. Oh, actually, no, I'm wrong. This one is a fine liner brush, and this one is a precision liner brush. Once these are built up with product, um, they're not too bad. So I'm going to hold on to all of those. All right, let's do liners, angled liners. So I can see, let's pull these two out. Um, Real Techniques, bold metals, keeping too expensive to get rid of. Actually, this one isn't too bad. I don't mind the liner brush. And this is the Zoeva brow line. I don't mind that. That's that actually works pretty well, especially with cream products. I like that. And this is the wing liner from Zoeva. I like this brush as well. So I'm going to hold on to those three. All right, I've got a bunch here that I use for my brows. These are both um, Real Techniques eyeliner brushes. You can't use these for your eyes. They're not, they're too thick. I just... I don't, I don't understand why the girls let these get through. These are not good for doing eyeliner. Um, they're good for doing defined brow work, absolutely, but not eyeliner. Um, <clears throat> this one is their actual brow brush. Uh, I do like this for brows as well, especially the, the front of the brows or the bulk of the brows. Um, this is like a scratchy angle brow, really good for waxy products, I like that. Uh, this is a Wayne Goss 21 brush. Um, this is also a natural bristle um, brow brush. It's good, it's pretty much good for everything. You can use waxy products, cream products, powder products. I, as much as I, I don't dislike Wayne Goss, I just don't love him as much as I used to. I kind of feel like he's 
I don't know, he's just not who he used to be on YouTube. Um, I will say, he makes some beautiful brushes. So, if you've ever been curious, there you go. They are very nice. This is a Billion Dollar Brows uh, flat top brush. I, I do like this, but I never reach for it. I'm always reaching for my angle brushes. So, I'm going to let that one go. Yay, success. And this is a crown brush, stiff brow. It is a small angled brush. I'm going to hold on to that. All right, now we're looking at angled brushes that I use for actual eyeliner. This one is a crown silicon angle liner. I have not played with this enough to know if I like it or not. I am going to hold on to it. I've played with it a few times and I'm like, eh, I don't know. Um, but... I, I've got a few more tricks that I want to try out with it. So I'm going to hold on to that. I have a Mimi Box brush. I quite like this one. Um, good for doing dramatic looks because you tend to end up with a large wing. This one is just an El Cheapo off eBay. Not a bad brush. This is my dead set all time favorite Holy Grail best fucking eyeliner brush ever. Um, it's a no-name brush. It's just called Angled Shadow and Liner. Once this picks up product, it's razor thin. Like, you could cut a person with this if it actually had any sub substance to it. Um, I don't know where to buy these brushes. And this one is starting to die. The, um, the hairs at the front here are starting to end up with a bit of a funny shape. So, I think it's on its way out, sadly. But I tell you what... This is one of my favorite favorite eyeliner brushes, and I've had it for years. Like, we're talking about, I'm going to say I've had it for about 12 years. That's how, that's how well it's held up. Love it. Um, oh, of course, Ray Morris. I love this liner brush as well. This is a beautiful, beautiful eyeliner brush. Definitely keeping that. Um, I will say this is actually meant to be a brow definer. I use it as an angled liner brush for the eyes and it works beautifully. Um, and these are both crown brushes and again they work okay, they're fine. Once they pick up product they're quite good um, but they're not my all time favourites. Um, I will hang on to them though because I do use them. Alright, let's do brushes that I use for powder. Um, this is typically what I use for powdering my face. I am not going to get rid of any of these because I only have six and I do use them pretty much. I use all of these in a month um, or I have like maybe one left over for while I'm washing my brushes and they're drying. So I've got no name brand here off eBay. Fantastic, beautiful, beautiful brush. Really, really nice. I think these, yeah, these are cosmetic kitchen brushes. These are alright. Um, they're, yeah, they're alright. I'm not, like, jumping up and down for these. To be honest, I feel like the quality is the same as the eBay brush. Um, but this was, like, a dollar. So, yeah. Uh, this is a Longcom brush. I like this. This actually came out of one of their little Christmas packs and it's quite quite nice brush. Um, I've had it for a few years now and used it since I got it, so can't complain. Uh, and these are Real Techniques bold metal brushes. Um, oh, with what looks like lipstick on them. Um, so we've got the 100 here, which is like a domed brush, and then we have a 103, which is the um, angled fluffy brush. So I like both of these to be honest, I do. Um, I've, I've never seen a 102 or a 101 in these. I, I don't, I don't, I'm confused. Is it in like another collection? I don't know. Anyway, so I have them. I'm going to keep them. All right, this is, <laughs> this is where the bulk of my medium sized brushes come in. Um, so I've got things that I use to apply blush, bronzer, highlight, contour, um, stuff like that. So I'm going to pull out my bulb metals because I really like these bulb metal brushes. These are lovely. 
got the 300, I've got two of them, and I have the 301. Um, I will say, with my 301, I'm keeping those by the way, with my 301, um, it's like they got these weird, I don't know, it happened after I washed them, it's almost like watermarks ate away at the finish, which doesn't make sense because I dry the ferrule and the barrel or the handle um, after I wash my brushes. So I don't know what happened there, but that kind of annoyed me. It is a good brush though, um, so I'm going to hold on to that. Alright, more real techniques. Let me get all of them out. Jesus, I have a lot of real techniques brushes. I need to expand my horizons. Okay, so, um, Jesus, Jesus. Alright, here I've got, uh, what are you, setting brushes. I've got two of them. Love them, they're fantastic. And I have a angled highlighter brush. Again, love it, fantastic, keeping it. These are, what are you called, contour brushes. Uh, I don't use them for contour, but you can, and I have used them for contour. Um, I typically use them for highlight, so um, I'm going to keep those, and I am going to keep these, because I like these. I've got a cheek brush here, don't use it for cheeks, um, I use that actually for contour and bronzing. Multitasker brush, yes it does, and this one is the sculpting brush, which I typically use for contour. Um, I like all of these. These are nice brushes. I'm down with these. I feel like you can't really go wrong with a medium sized fluffy brush basically. Uh, I've got some brushes here from the Cosmetic Kitchen. I'm going to pull them out and I might, I might need a minute to assess these. Um, these are soft and they are synthetic and I, I don't know. Um, Okay, so these three angled brushes are all the same, and these two are the same. Um, let me think, let me think. Um, I think what I'll do, something that pisses me off about these angled brushes, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. So this one, let's see if I can show you. This one here has a fairly nice shape, whereas this one's got this weird sort of splayed out bit at the front. I don't get it. It's annoying, um, and I feel like it makes the brush look misshapen, whereas this one looks like it's got its shit together. So, I think I'll get rid of this one, because I'm not into it. Um, I'm going to put these aside and just see what I decide to keep out of this because I'm having a hard time here. Alright, let's get rid of the Mimi brush, uh, Mimi box brush. I I just don't like this. I, I'm, I'm not into it. I'm going to get rid of it. This one, beautiful. Oh my god, these are so soft. Ray Morris um, Deluxe Pro Blender. I love this brush. I want more of these for sure. i um, going to keep that. I have a Thin Lizzy brush. Now, Kat actually gave me a pan of Thin Lizzy, and I love Thin Lizzy. I really, really like it. Um, I'm not really into the brush, though, so I'm going to get rid of the brush. I will double check if she wants me to give that back to her before I get rid of it, um, but if she, if she doesn't want it, it's going. Um, let's see. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, these are just, again, cheapos off eBay. This is a fake Urban Decay brush. Cheapo off eBay. Um, I got a set of like, I think I got like 10 brushes for $8 or something. Um, and obviously I knew they weren't Urban Decay brushes. I was just looking for more travel friendly size brushes. And the kit that this came in was not too bad. Um, but I kind of moved on over time and I can see some of the hairs coming out. That can go. Alright, uh, let me see. I don't know. This is difficult. These all feel the same. These all feel the same. Uh, I definitely do need to keep 
quite a few blush brushes though. All right, so I think what I'll do, I'll keep them. That gives me three domed brushes and three angled brushes, and I'll get rid of these two. There we go. I can do that. I can do that because it gives me room to buy more. There are little hairs everywhere. After going through these brushes, I'm like, I'm ready to buy more brushes. I want to buy more brushes, like right now. Let's do lip brushes. I uh, don't have a lot of lip brushes because I typically do not like to apply lip products with lip brushes. Um, except in the case of matte liquid lipsticks. Uh, but I'm going to say I'm actually going to keep all of these. Oh, that's not a lip brush. That's a MAC 209. That's an eyeliner brush. Anyway, I'm keeping all of these because I don't have that many. And um, typically if I'm wearing like a matte liquid lipstick, I'll use a brush to apply it in the morning and then it will go away to be cleaned. Then I will use a brush to touch up later in the day and it goes away to be cleaned. And if I touch up again, you guessed it, I use another brush. I never, ever, ever use the brush more than once um, before I wash it. And that's just because I'm anal like that. Um, so I'm going to hold on to all of them. Alright, let's do these. Um, it's getting close to the end of my brushes. I have some sort of random, randoms. I've got a fan brush by Real Techniques. I'm going to hold on to this because very occasionally I need a fan brush and if I don't keep this one I won't have any. I haven't found one that I adore yet. One day it will happen. I know I don't adore this one. This is one of those duo fibers. I'm not into it. Um, but when I need a fan brush it works. So I'm holding on to that. I'm also holding on to this, which I hate. It is a Smashbox double exposure brush, um, but it goes with a palette. And if you've watched some of my other um, decluttering videos, you may know that sometimes I keep things because I'm keeping another part of the thing, and one day it may go to a new home, and I like to be able to give it away complete, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to hold on to them. Um, these, these are brilliant. These are crown brush metal eyelash definers. These are literally metal eyelash combs. So if you have issues with your mascara clumping or your lashes, like you put mascara on and your lashes are all like bleh, um, these are very helpful. But you can literally blind yourself with these. So do be careful, um, but you can tell I love them because I have three of them. Um, and to be honest, I'll probably pick up some more at Salon Melbourne next year as well. So, yes, keeping them. Do love, do love. Alright, um, this one here. Wayne Goss, no. This one, yes. I knew, I knew it, I knew it. Alright, these are both Wayne Goss brow combs or brushes or this one might be considered an eyelash spoolie whatever um, 22 and 23 I love these these are brilliant these are great I have absolutely no complaints about these um, I'm going to keep them both you know what I need to say about this one in particular the spoolie I love how the handle is really thin so if you do want to put it into a tube of mascara um, it doesn't like get stuck here and then you can't like get it in any deeper to get product um, you can pretty much stick it into about there so that's I, I love that I really love that it's like well thought out from artistry point of view love it um, okay pretty much I'm gonna get rid of this this was actually out of a mascara that I adored now a little trick typically if you love a mascara um, you love the wand the formula is for the most part in most cases the formula is pretty the same some do differ um, don't get me wrong but for the most part if you love the way a mascara does stuff for your lashes like lengthening defining whatever 
it's typically the wand that's doing that. So for years and years I've kept wands um, out of mascara tubes that I liked but I've started sort of chucking them out, decluttering them. This is one of the oldest ones I kept and I haven't even used it since I took it out of the tube and cleaned it. Um, so it's time to go. It's time to go. Good memories. Fantastic memories. Um, but time to go. Alright, these. So I'm going to keep the spoolie and actually, you know, I'm just I'm going to keep these because I often use them for um, my my brows, combing out my brows. Um, I never use these comb, plastic comb sides, they're useless. Um, <clears throat> another good trick with these, especially this one, because the comb is broken on this and in my eyes I'm like, right, you're on, you're on your last legs mate, you're on your way out. Um, I actually use this to clean this. So I take my brush cleanser, usually the Daiso Puff and Sponge, and I sit the metal bristles against my finger like this. And once everything's wet and it's got the cleanser on it, I scrub it back and forth like this. And then I flip the brush and I do it on the other side. And that cleans out all of the excess mascara that gets stuck on the metal bits because they're really hard to clean. Um, so as this one starts to get more and more manky because it does, doing that with these, the cleaning method, it destroys these bristles. So as that dies, I'll get rid of it and then I will move on to using one of these. Um, but in the meantime, I actually do use these on my brows. So I'm going to keep all of them. That's cool. Final brushes then a few tools. These are new to me. Um, these are Artiste brush rip-offs. I bought these off eBay in a pack. They were very cheap, uh, $20 for the set. Um, I'd ordered another set online before I got these off eBay um, and they were significantly more expensive. Expensive enough to the point where I almost didn't buy them. And the damn seller, the seller sent me two no snag hair elastics. And <laughs> it was pretty funny actually. It's funny now that I got my money back. Anyway, I just went on PayPal, I got my money back. Um, but I thought, you know, I still want to try these. So I went on eBay and I found an even cheaper set because I thought, well, if if I don't get them and PayPal doesn't, you know, settle in my favour, then it's not so bad. Um, usually PayPal is good like that. Anyway, so I bought these brushes and I haven't even used them yet. And I thought maybe I'd do like a little video demonstrating how they work. I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, I am interested to know what these are like, but I can say the quality isn't great. It's I mean, they're very soft and dense, but I can see quality issues with them just by looking at them. Um, so I'm going to hold on to these because I want to play with them. I'm, I'm mostly scared that if I apply my makeup with them, my makeup will look rubbish and then I have to start it again. And I don't usually have time for that. So anyway, <laughs> I'm definitely going to hold on to these. All right, we've got some dirty looking tools here. Um, I've got tweezers. I've got another, all right, here we go, tweezers. So I've got a little um, Revlon twin set, which is great. I love that. It was actually quite expensive, and I was in a pinch for tweezers. Um, so I bought them, you know, kind of begrudgingly, but it turns out that I absolutely adore these little tweezers. Totally worth the purchase. I've got my Manicare Soft Touch tweezers. These are great. They've lasted me a very long time. Um, and these are just from Daiso. Um, they're like fine tip tweezers, I, but they're blunt. So I actually use them for applying fake lashes. Um, they're really nice. $2.80. Can't complain. Uh, I have sharpener, sharpener, sharpener. Uh, this is the... Billion Dollar Brows Sharpener, so it's a nice 
big one. Um, this one also has a large thingy on it and a small thingy. I'm going to keep these two. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one because it's old and it's dirty and I don't want to clean it. Um, thousand hour lash curler. I, I'm kind of wondering if maybe I showed this in my eyelash uh, mascara liner declutter. I can't remember. If I did, obviously I was keeping it and I'm still keeping it. If I didn't, I'm keeping it. Um, this is a, uh, what are they called? There's a special name for it. The brand name. What are you? I can't remember. It's a beauty spatula. Um, took me a long time to find one of these. I looked on eBay just for a cheap option. They, they just, they're not, they're not the same. Um, I actually got this one off Amazon and um, it's great because it's very slim so it like gets into pretty much anything um, and cleans it right out. Fantastic for getting the last drop of foundation. Uh, palette knife or uh, makeup spatula, fantastic. I love this. One end is like a duck bill or flat and the other end is pointy. Excellent tool. Um, this is an eyedropper that I've had for ages. I just use it for um, repressing broken eyeshadows or pans of, I don't know, powder, face powder, whatever. This is, um, it's actually a clip for applying eyelashes. So you put the eyelash in there with the band facing outward, you apply the glue and let the glue set a little bit and then you like apply it to the lash line. Um, it doesn't work for me but I do find it really handy. Um, I put my lash in there, put the glue on and then I just set it on the table and let the glue set while I do something else that involves two hands. So I'm going to hold on to that. It's a handy little tool. Um, this is disgusting and so is this. These are both blackhead removers. Um, I do not like this one, so there's a large loop at that end and a small loop at that end. I don't like it. This is the one that I love and adore. This is like, it's like a little spoon with a hole in it. Um, I got this from the body shop. This is going to, this is going to sound a bit weird. Um, I got this from the body shop about 18 years ago. Um, it was the first item that I ever purchased from the body shop and I lost it. I lost it a very, very long time ago and I was so disappointed that I went to the body shop and I bought, I think it was this one or it was one similar to this, it was double ended. And I went in there and I said, oh, do you guys have those blackhead removers that you used to have? Thinking she'd say no. And she's like, yes, we do. They're so great, aren't they? And I'm like, oh my God, you have no idea. Like, I love that thing. It was amazing. I lost it. I was so disappointed. And she took me over and it was something like this. And she looked, the look on her face, she looked so happy that I was happy that I just could not bring it. Like, I could not bring myself to tell her that wasn't what I wanted. Um, so I bought it and I'm pretty sure this isn't the body shop one. Uh, I think I got rid of that one a long time ago. This one's come into my collection. Anyway, years and years and years and years later, I literally had moved house. Um, I found this amongst my stuff. It was in like some sentimental crap. Um, so it's back, it's my baby, and to be honest, I don't ever want to lose it again. It is my favourite, favourite blackhead removing tool. And I just talked about blackhead removing tools for a very long time. Wow. Alright guys, so that's it for my makeup brush and tool declutter. Um, there's 19 items here, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, I'm happy with what I'm getting rid of. Um, yeah. I can't complain. I'm not really sad to see any of this go, so 
um, and it just means that I'll probably buy some more brushes very soon. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. 